how's it guys all right today i just want to quickly just go through the boost control settings that we've got here we've got a trim pot switch which has got five um, settings that we've got from zero all the way to five you'll see there if we turn it it, it changes all right so the way to set this up if we go to this this uh, channel let me just zoom out a little bit for you guys there oh, no that's not going to work all right so let's go and have a look at our voltages so let me go to, just to show you our analog inputs so our signed inputs at analog 3 that is our boost blend parameter to enable this we go here to either a switch type or you've got your blend type so a switch would be basically just a toggle switch between low and high but we're going for the blend um, input channel 3 so just to make sure we had some issues where we thought what we had was right we had it on the dyno and we over boosted to over two and a half bar which is about 300 kpa on standard pump petrol so we're lucky we didn't blow the engine so please make sure that these things are correct so you'll see what we've got is i just set my settings down 20 kpa to 500 rpms that gives me um that gives me the opportunity to this boost table to being populated and then as i switch then you'll obviously see we'll go from uh that will change all the way up to our target boost so that will give that so this make 100 percent sure i'll show you how to set that up now um, i'll show you this position from zero so position one to 25 all the way up to 100 is going to cut so just make sure like i said this is not turned around that you got 100 75 50 and 25 because what happens if you do that then you'll see it it will mess you around you know so if we go turn it around you'll have different settings over here then it will be very confused on where to reference you'll be referencing 140 in the beginning all the way up and then the last setting will also be problematic so the way to set this up just want to see so you bring up this table analog inputs all right so we'll just look at that uh, number three there where the cursor is so i'm going to be switching now so that's zero the first position second so forth goes through gives us different voltages now we need to match that voltage in let me just have a look here where we're going to match that in quickly just give me one sec there we go so this will be on the boost blend calibration table so then obviously that was our positions and the voltages that we had on those positions all right so as soon as we've got those voltages we uh we've populated the, we, we let them know and as soon as we start switching through our boost so let's quickly get rid of this table let's get rid of this okay all right let's get rid of this guy so now basically what we got just well let me just uh, move up here quickly so we've basically got our boost target number two and boost target number one so that's why we say be very uh just check how you set this up because you can get it wrong easily all right so boost target number one that's 200 okay so basically that doesn't correspond with your dc reference one so any case so that's what you need to check on your switch so we're at position number one it's referencing zero percent of our target one and everything of target two so as we go through to position number five it will actually um, re get our boost referencing 200 at table number one so that could be a confusing if you get it the wrong way around all right because uh, we had it the other way around and then we hit high boost at a low setting so make sure that position matches up with the boost target that you've put in 
So there you can see position 1, 140. So it's referencing from table 2. And all the way up, I'll click to position number 5. Now it's referencing 200. So that's table number 1. Yeah, any case. Hopefully it helps you guys. We've been struggling with that a bit. Overboost issues. We are going to first do open loop. Um, then we will see what we're going to do by closed loop. And the only other table for closed loop is a boost correction table. Let me just quickly go down here. And that will be this one. Boost correction error table. Alright. So that will mean if we're going to go around a simple closed loop that we've populated. Um, if we are over boosting it's allowing us to deduct 20%. If it is under boosting, it will allow us to add 15%. So then with the closed loop enabled, this we should be getting this result on the dyno.